Hola and welcome to Pro Spanish. We'll begin with some vocabulary which we'll keep at the bottom of the screen so that all learners can access this lesson. Uh, the verbs are going to be they did verbs. So it's going to be they and in the past. So let's start with they worked. Trabajaron. They worked. Trabajaron. They went. Fueron. They had. Tuvieron. They could or they were able to. Pudieron. They did it. Okay, so we can see the it in there. Lo. So they did it. Lo hicieron. And finally, juntos. Not a verb. Juntos. Together. Okay, so let's start by getting confident with um, this this vocabulary. How would you say they worked together? They worked together. Trabajaron juntos. Trabajaron juntos. How would we say they did it together? They did it together. Lo hicieron juntos. Lo hicieron juntos. And you might know that to make a negative, to say they didn't, we just put no before the verb. So they didn't work. No trabajaron. How would you say they didn't go to Valencia? And to, as in to Valencia, is just a. No fueron a Valencia. No fueron a Valencia. How would you say they had an accident? And an accident is very similar to English. It's just got an extra E on the end. Un accidente. Un accidente, an accident. So what is they had an accident? Tuvieron un accidente. Tuvieron un accidente. And we saw that lo hicieron is they did it. The lo before is it. Lo hicieron. They did it. How would you say they had it? They had it. What would that be? Lo tuvieron. Lo tuvieron. How about they had it together? Lo tuvieron juntos. Lo tuvieron juntos. Okay, we're just going to work backwards for a second. Trabajaron is they worked. Now you may or you may not know what to work is, like the original infinitive verb. So trabajaron, they worked. To work is trabajar. Trabajar. How would you say they were able to work together? They were able to work together. Pudieron trabajar juntos. Pudieron trabajar juntos. What about they weren't able to or they couldn't? The same, same verb. They couldn't work together. What would that be? No pudieron trabajar juntos. No pudieron trabajar juntos. They couldn't or they weren't able to work together. Okay, let's go back to an earlier sentence. They went to Valencia. What was that? They went to Valencia. Fueron a Valencia. Fueron a Valencia. They went to Valencia. Now let's um, just compare two sentences in English. On the one hand, they went to Valencia. And then we're just going to add an extra word here at the beginning and say if they went to Valencia. If they went to Valencia. And we can see in the first one, they went to Valencia. That is something that happened. They went to Valencia. But in the second sentence, if they went to Valencia, 
they didn't actually go to Valencia. We are just imagining what would happen if they went, if they went to Valencia. And in Spanish, this change in meaning from being something that actually happened to something that hasn't actually happened, there needs to be a change and it gets changed to a subjunctive verb. And you'll see now just how easy this is to do. So, fueron a Valencia means they actually went. But if we're saying if they went, instead of ending in ron, I'll do the English pronunciation for the moment, instead of ending in ron, it ends in ran, as in ran away, if he ran away. So instead of ron, it's ran. So you just change the o to an a, and that changes it to subjunctive. So fueran, fueran. So fueran now is they went, but subjunctive, a kind of imaginary if they went. And let's just have the word for if, nice and easy. It's actually the same as the word for yes, si just doesn't have an accent on it like yes does. So C is if. So if they went to Valencia, si fueran a Valencia. Si fueran a Valencia. So the only change we've done is change that O to an A. So instead of ron at the end, we've got ran at the end. Si fueran a Valencia. How would you say, if they went together, obviously the sentence would carry on, if they went together, what would that be? Si fueran juntos, si fueran juntos, if they went together, they would have a better time, for example. And we will get on to completing, completing those sentences, uh, but let's practice this for the moment. So, fueron went to fueran when it was with if because it wasn't real anymore. Um, let's say they worked together. Trabajaron juntos. What about if they worked together? What would that be? Si trabajaran juntos. Si trabajaran Juntos, so if they worked together. So now it's imaginary or not real. How about if they did it? If they did it, what would that be? Si lo hicieran, si lo hicieran, if they did it. How about if they didn't do it together, what would that be? Si no lo hicieran juntos, si no lo hicieran juntos, if they didn't do it together, it would be better or whatever. And what about if they could work together, if they could work together, and remember that work, to work is Trabajar, so the work in this sentence won't be in the subjunctive because it's the second verb, so it will just be the infinitive, the full verb trabajar. So if they could work together, what would that be? Si pudieran trabajar juntos, si pudieran trabajar juntos, if they could work together, it would be better. In fact, let's just quickly do it would be better. We'll learn it as a phrase. We won't worry about the grammar because we're focusing on the subjunctive grammar at the moment and this isn't subjunctive. And it would be better is just sería, it would be, sería, it would be better, mejor, sería mejor. So if you want to write that down somewhere separately, if you can't keep it in your head with um, what we're doing at the moment, that's fine. Uh, we can just use it to finish off some of our sentences. Sería mejor. It would be better. So how would you say, if they didn't work together, it would be better? If they didn't work together, it would be better. What would that be? 
si no trabajaran juntos, sería mejor. Si no trabajaran juntos, sería mejor. And of course, it could be the other way around. It would be better if they didn't work together. Sería mejor si no trabajaran juntos. How would you say it would be better if they did it together? Sería mejor si lo hicieran juntos. Sería mejor si lo hicieran juntos. What about it would be better if they had it? It would be better if they had it. Sería mejor si lo tuvieran. Sería mejor si lo tuvieran. And we'll just take a brief pause there while I mention our very popular all-in-one special offer. Uh, none of these step-by-step -step courses are available on YouTube. Uh, we only publish supplementary lessons on this channel. And of course, there are huge savings to be made as well. This is available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. So we've seen that when we're using if with something that's not real, not actually happening or happened, then it's if and the subjunctive. And to get that subjunctive, we just turn the O to an A, ron to ran. Fueron becomes fueran, tuvieron becomes tuvieran, pudieron becomes pudieran. And the great thing about this um, this form is that it works for all the irregulars as well. So as long as you have they did something in the past, the preterite, you can use that, however irregular it is, to go straight to the subjunctive just by changing that O to an A. So uh, let's take, an um, for example, they knew, supieron, supieron, very regular, if they knew, si supieran, straight away just changing the O to the A, si supieran, if they knew. Okay, let's go now from they to I, and again, really straightforward, you may or may not know that that N at the end in fueron, or in the subjunctive fueran, the N, is in all of the they verb forms, the future, past, the perfect, whatever. So all we're going to do is we're going to take off that N, and that's going to take off the they, and it's just going to, that's going to make it I. So, si trabajaran is if they worked, and if I worked, we're just going to take the N off. Si trabajara, if I worked. Si trabajara en España, if I worked in Spain. So to get to I, we're just going to take off the N, the last letter, which is um, the N for they. So how would we say, if I went to Spain, what would that be, if I went to Spain? Si fuera a España. Si fuera a España. How about if I did it? If I did it. So remember, just go to if they did it. And then just take off the N. So if I did it would be what? Si lo hiciera. Si lo hiciera. How about if I could? If I could, what would that be? Si pudiera, si pudiera, if I could, si pudiera. How would we say, it would be better if I could? Sería mejor si pudiera. Sería mejor si pudiera. It would be better if I could. How about, it would be better if... I went 
to Valencia. Sería mejor si fuera a Valencia. Sería mejor si fuera a Valencia. It would be better if I went to Spain. How would we say, if I had an accident, if I had an accident, si tuviera un accidente, si tuviera un accidente, what do you think this means? Si tuviera mucho dinero, si tuviera mucho dinero, if I had a lot of money, si tuviera mucho dinero. Now let's go back to if I went, what was that again? If I went, si fuera, si fuera, and si fuera, as well as being if I went, it actually also means if I were, si fuera, si fuera, if I were, as in if I were rich, if I were Spanish, if I were famous, si fuera famoso. So, si fuera, if I went, and also if I were. And the reason is because if we go right back to fueron, they went. Fueron means they went, and it also means they were. And it's just the way it's worked out in Spanish that the verb, the past, the preterite of to be, of said, is the same for went, a go in the past, and also to be in the past. So fueron is both they went and they were. So to say then si fueran would be if they went and also if they were. And then take the N off so that we get to I. So logically, if I went, si fuera, but it would also be if I were, si fuera. Si fuera rico, if I were rich. How would you say if I were Spanish? If I were Spanish, what would that be? Si fuera español. Si fuera español. And if it's a girl or a woman speaking, si fuera española. Si fuera española, if I were Spanish. You may know that um, inglés is English and inglesa, the feminine form. How would you say, if I weren't English, if I weren't English, si no fuera inglés, si no fuera inglés, if I weren't English. How would you say, it would be better if I were Spanish? It would be better if I were Spanish. What would that be? Sería mejor si fuera español. Sería mejor si fuera español. How about, it would be better if I were French. French is francés o francesa. Sería mejor si fuera francés. Sería mejor si fuera francesa. So, where did all this start? We started off with they did certain things. The straightforward, real phrases. They worked. Trabajaron. They went to Valencia. Fueron a Valencia. They went to Valencia together. Fueron a Valencia juntos. Then we saw that if we want to say if they went to Valencia, then we're not talking about something real that actually happened, and in which case we need the subjunctive. And we saw that it's very easy to change they went past to they went subjunctive. We just take the O and change it to an A, ron to ran. So now we have fueran. Si fueran if they went. 
and that simple rule applies to all verbs and the irregulars. As long as you know they did in the preterite, in the past, you'll be able to get to they subjunctive just by changing the ron to ran. So, if they had, si tuvieran, if they could, si pudieran, etc. And we saw that to go from they to I is very straightforward. The N indicates it's they, so we just take that off. And we have si trabajara, if I worked, si tuviera, if I had, si tuviera más tiempo, if I had more time, sería mejor, it would be better. And we saw that si fuera is if I went, but also it's if I were, si fuera, because fueron is both they went and they were, so it easily translates into the subjunctive, if they went, if they were, and then of course if I went and if I were. And we'll just finish with a reminder about our most popular download from prospanish.co.uk. This is the all-in-one special offer. Once downloaded, it's yours to keep. There are no subscriptions. And of course, it includes the main levels one to six course, plus an accelerated vocabulary course, a verbs and tenses made easy course, 60 fluency boosters, and finally, 50 of our best standalone videos, all of which can be completed without any prior knowledge of Spanish. And best of all, it can be shared on all the devices in your family. Okay, so that's prospanish.co.uk.